What is going on? You're here with Nate to Wait, and thank you for tuning in as per usual. So I want to share with you guys this plugin. It's called Smack Attack, and it's by Waves, and it's a super useful plugin. It's been around for about a year now, and I was going to do a review when it first came out, but I decided against doing that because every man and their dog was doing a review on this, and I just didn't want to jump in that that pool of sharks. Um, anyway, so now it is. Um, I'm using this plugin. I finally pulled the Pull the uh, pulled the pin and bought the plug in. It's twenty nine dollars um, through Waves at this current stage on discount. You can actually get it cheaper through Audio Deluxe. No affiliation with them. Just plugging it because I know that you guys like a bargain, so it's worth five dollars less. Uh, so twenty five dollars USD when you get it through Audio Deluxe. Anyway, so long story short, I'm using Smack Attack on this mix, and I wanted to show you guys how beneficial it can be for just getting different blends in your mix, getting different uh, transient you know shapes in your mix, and also using this plugin for a limiter or a clipper on your drums as well. So what I did on this particular mix is I got the drum kit and I allowed the kit to kind of sit in the mix in the the verse section with less of the shaker. Now when I first got these drums, these were samples that I used and I actually cut them out using impact. I shall just show you impact as well, um, just so you can see that. So this is the first sample that I had unmuting that. Let's go up here. So I had this sample and what I did, I cut that sample up and I used Impact to do that. And Impact pretty much allowed me to cut the sample into sections. Um, and when I did that, I had that section there with the shaker on it. So for the chorus of this actual track, I wanted to have the shaker in there, but in the actual verse, I wanted to reduce it. So I used Smack Attack to allow me to cut out some of the sustain on the mix and also increasing some of the actual attack of the, the drums as well. So let me just play you the mix first so you can hear it. Pay attention to the verse section, which I'll play first, and then listen to the chorus section where it actually increases with the shaker. So just listen to that. So you can hear how it goes into the from the verse to the chorus and to the verse again. Um, in the the verse section, there is no shake or it's very limited with the shaker as well. Um, what I did because I separated the drums out inside of the actual uh, project, I was able to reduce the shaker on this section here. I've got I've got this uh, Arvox. I'm using it for the actual gate on my kick. Um, this is a shaker here, so this has got the snare and the shaker on it. So you can hear it's still a little bit there, but it really does reduce in volume in comparative to the actual chorus. So Smack Attack is actually allowing me to do that by reducing the sustain. And this plugin is super useful. I mean, it can be used for many things as far as using it for attack sustain or um, affecting your signal in a different way. You can warp stuff. Just It's kind of crazy when you think about it. $29 is worth it. Um, you can also use this section here, which I'll just go over as well. Uh, the manual does entail all of this information, which I'll just briefly show you as well. So this section here, which is the GUI of the plugin, has the metering section and pretty much all of these dot dot dotted points here. So one to 12, tell you what it has and what it does. Um, the guard or the guard section is gain reduction basically, and allows you to have two modes. So limiting or clipping and the threshold or the actual level of the ceiling is uh, 0.1 uh, dBFS, which is the ceiling. So if you're increasing the attack, Usually what happens when you increase the attack of the signal increases the amplitude or the volume of that signal at the start of the actual signal. So um, what happens then is if you're not uh, adjusting to, you know, obviously decrease the volume of that particular instrument, it's going to increase it in the mix and that'll make that, that actual thing louder inside of your mix. So this is really handy when you have the actual clipping function or the limiting function to push it up, but then reduce the level by clipping it. And I really enjoy that about this plugin. So let me get to the plugin and show you kind of what it can do um, when I'm talking about that as well. So first off, I'll go to this mix and we'll get down to this actual kick here. And I'm going to drop Smack Attack on the kick. Actually, I already have it on there so you guys can show you what's going on here. Just going to unmute that. 
Uh, we'll put it into a stereo mode because I know it's going to flip it back into stereo anyway. Awesome. So we've got the actual kick here and I'm going to show you kind of what Smack Attack can do to this kick. Just so you know kind of how you're working with it. Obviously it's got a visual guide which Smack Attack has here but to show you on the actual um, audio sample will really help you guys understand how it works. So let me get Smack Attack and we'll just boost this by quite a, a you know decent amount. I'm going to turn off the clipping function because that's going to allow this transient to be pushed up in the mix. And I'm going to bounce this uh, so it shows you exactly what's happening. So we'll go mix selection. This will allow that to bounce it out. And obviously it told me it clipped. I don't really care about that. But what's happened here, it clipped because I put the attack up so high. And this is why this function is super useful when it has the actual clipping function here. So if you weren't using the clipping function, this is exactly what would happen in your mix you would get a really um, high peak here, which is the transient at the start. So this is the first loudest part that's in that particular kick. And that's really pushed up pretty much to zero dB. And you can see, actually, you've, yeah, you can even see it's already cut it off here. So this is called clipping. So it's actually clipped the signal because it's been so loud inside of the mix. And that's why it gave me that error and all that jazz that happened just then. So what happens with Smack Attack is it actually has the function. I'm just going to delete that out because we don't really need it there. But Smack Attack has a function here, which if you use the clip section on it, uh, we'll just go back to that. Uh, if you use the clip section on this, you can actually clip the audio, preventing it from actually clipping inside of your DAW. And it clips it inside of that plugin. So it allows the volume to be pushed up at the transient. And I'll just bounce this out again. We'll just quickly do that. Lovely kick. By the way, I have to actually bounce it live because I'm using my external hardware on this particular mix. So anyway, we've got this where it's clipped it again, but it's clipped it inside of the DAW in this plugin. So it didn't give me a crazy error because it was clipping. It actually allowed the, the plugin to clip that transient, but also allowing it to be put, uh, pushed up in the mix as well. So it actually sounds louder in the mix. Um, it's allowed the plugin to be adjusted, you know, obviously according to that. Um, you could reduce the volume here if you wanted to to make it a little bit lower in volume or you could pull it down inside of uh, the, the mix as well. So if I was going to pull that down, I'd go to this plugin, sorry, this uh, mixer here. I could pull that down and the maximum level if I play that, I'll just go here. So I can adjust that and just know that that's not going to hit more than minus 12. So for example, if I'm leaving it up to the minus 12. Um, so this is really handy if you want to have your drums in your mix, um, have extra transient on the actual first initial kick or sustain or whatever it is that you're looking at and allow that to be um, in the mix without it increasing volume too much. So I think that this smack attack can really serve, let's move this back up again, um, really serve a key purpose when it comes down to using a transient plugin uh, where some transient plugins, like for example, this free one here, it doesn't really have that kind of function. Um, it's a free plugin, you can't expect it to do everything, but for $29, I think Smack Attack is super useful. And it's not always $29, but at the moment it is. So it's really handy to be able to use that and get clipping happening with your drums if you need it to occur without obviously digital clipping. And then you can have all of your instruments sit inside the mix and have the drums sit there correctly, just like they were if they were limited. Um, but you're having extra transients and all that good stuff that comes from that uh, that smack attack. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.